Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Today we're looking at some new cards, they're called the Tier Elements, and their purpose is they're going to be introduced within Power of the Elements, the brand new booster pack. It mentions here that the Tier Element aspect is a combination of Tiara, Tier, Lament, and Element combine the names. Tier Elements, Meru is a dark attribute aqua type effect monster. It's level two with 800 attack and 2000 defense. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. One, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. Two, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by placing fusion materials mentioned on it from your hand, field, and or graveyard on the bottom of the deck in any order, including this card. I like the design of this. The first effect is simply milling the top three cards and I'm guessing that's going to apply to the rest of them. If they're milled as part of this effect, they're able to use their secondary abilities which provide you with the additional advantage. In this case, this one's got the ability as part of the secondary effect to just fusion summon using this card alongside any of the cards that happen to be in your hand, on the field, or also in your graveyard as part of milling and return those back to the deck in any order just to instantly fusion summon. By summoning from the deck, it avoids you having to rely too heavily on additional cards and it being a fusion type of effect means you don't have to run things such as polymerization which might be quite cloggy. Tier element Hafenus is a dark attribute aqua type effect monster level 3 with 1600 attack and 1000 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. One when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field. As a quick effect you can special summon this card up from your hand and if you do send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. Two, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by placing fusion materials mentioned in it from your hand, field, and or graveyard on the bottom of your deck in any order, including this card in the graveyard. This seems to be a common appearance. They're all dark attribute aqua type monsters. This being a level three, 1,600 attack points isn't too bad and happens to use its effect whenever your opponent activates a monster effect. So being a quick effect, it can respond during your opponent's turn you're instantly able to special summon this card and then mill three cards from the top of your deck. Secondary effect, if this happens to be used as part of that milling process, you can just fusion summon. I wonder if this is a continued theme within the secondary abilities. If so, then that's actually quite viable for triggering off different effects. Tier elements, Shailian is a dark attribute aqua type effect monster, level four with 1,800 attack and 1,300 defense. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. One during your main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, then send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. Two, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by placing fusion materials mentioned on it from your hand, field, and or graveyard on the bottom of the deck in any order, including this card in the graveyard. So the second effect, as addressed before, it just lets you fusion summon without having to use a fusion style of effect, no fusion spell card, no polarization, no miracle fusion. In terms of the first effect, you're just able to instantly special summon this card by sending a card from the hand to the graveyard and then milling those three cards. This just helps you to speed across the process and fuse more quickly. It being a special summon means it can allow you to go into additional summons as well, adding to your card advantage and your field advantage. Tier Elements Reino Heart is a water attribute warrior type effect monster. It's a level four with 1,500 attack and 2,100 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. One, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one tier elements monster from your deck to the graveyard, except tier elements Reino Heart. Two, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. And if you do, send one tier elements monster from your deck to the graveyard. This is the first one that actually has very different style of effect. First effect, just by normal summoning or special summoning, you're able to pitch a card from your deck to the graveyard it's a foolish burial style of effect which can help then trigger off their, their fusion effect secondary ability if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect you're able to just instantly revive this card and then still use that foolish burial style of effect as well to trigger off those effects it's got a decent balance of attack and defense you know it's actually quite defensive so even if you just want to use it as a bit of a shield for a turn you're more than welcome to do so tier element kit kalos is a dark attribute aqua type fusion effect monster it's a level 5 with 2300 attack and 1200 defense. It requires a tier elements monster and a 
Aqua Monster. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. One, if this card is special summoned, you can take one tier elements card from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Two, you can target one monster you control, special summon one tier elements monster from your hand or graveyard, and if you do, send the targeted monster to the graveyard. And three, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can send the top five cards of your deck to the graveyard. This is a bit underwhelming for a fusion monster. I thought they would have been a little bit more impressive. It doesn't require too much. A tier elements monster and an aqua monster means that you can actually splash the tier elements with various aqua type monsters. And you've got a few examples of those, for example, frogs. I'm sure people will be testing these in the future. First effect just lets you add a tier elements card from the deck or send it to the graveyard. Either it goes to the hand or the graveyard. That's fine. It's an effect, but it's just upon its special summoner. The second effect, just to be able to trade in one of your monsters to special summoner tier elements can provide you with certain forms of advantage and consistency. The third effect is just another one of those mill effects if this is destroyed by card effect, which had also been by battle because that would have triggered both ways. You just get to mill the top five cards. This can help you trigger off some of their other effects. Tier elements, Kalido Heart is a dark attribute fiend type fusion monster. It's a level nine with 3000 attack and defense. It requires tier elements, Reino Heart and two aqua monsters. It cannot be used as fusion material. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. One, if this card is special summoned or another aqua monster is sent to your graveyard by card effect, while this card is on the field, you can target one card your opponent controls, shuffle it into the deck. Two, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can special summon it, and if you do, send one tier elements card from your deck to the graveyard. This is a little bit more promising than the previous fusion monster, but it does require a specifically named tier elements monster, rather than just one of those monsters in the archetype. It does also need two aqua monsters, but I think that's fine considering it's a level nine monster. It cannot be used as fusion material. I don't think that's either that big of a problem. The first effect, when it's special summoned or another aqua monster is sent to the graveyard by card effect, it's fine because you're able to just shuffle any of your opponent's cards, be it a spell, trap, or monster, into their deck. This can be used as a form of disruption. My only concern with this is it has to be meet certain conditions and the thing is it can only be used once per turn so it can be easily negated. Secondary ability if this happens to be sent by card effect you're able to just re-special summon this and then trigger off one of your other tier elements cards style of effects. My concern with this again is because this is only by card effect. If this had also been by battle I would have thought this is decent. It's also only when it's sent to the graveyard so if your opponent's able to get rid of this in any other way such as through compulsory evacuation device then you don't get this trigger and you would have wasted the resources in summoning this to begin with. Perlano, the Primal Parallel Ruined Realm, is a field spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. One, when this card resolves, you can add one tier elements monster or one Vicious Starfrost from your deck to your hand. Two, fusion monsters and tier element monsters you control gain 500 attack. And three, if a tier elements monster is returned from your field and or graveyard to the deck and or extra deck, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. So the first effect just lets you search for one of your tier elements monsters. That's fine. There are quite a few specific archetype style of cards and field spells that do exactly the same thing. Second effect, fusion monsters and tier elements gain 500 attack points. Again, it's not that big of a deal. Most field spell cards give anywhere between a couple of hundred attack points to about 500. That tends to be the threshold it's capped at. Third effect is actually where it's most useful. It's when a tier elements monster is returned from the field to the deck or extra deck just being able to destroy a card on the field they're constantly going to be triggering off this effect but bear in mind you can only use this third effect once per turn which makes it quite limiting tier elements meta noise is a normal trap card you can only use one of the first and second effects effects of this card's name per turn and only once that turn. One, if you control a tier elements monster or versus Starfrost, target one face up monster your opponent controls, change it to face down defense position, then send one tier elements monster from your deck to the graveyard. Two, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can target one tier elements monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. First effect basically acts like a book of moon as a trap version and by sending the tier elements monster from the deck to the graveyard, you're then able to fuse using its effect. Secondary ability, 
Just if this is destroyed by something like a mystical space typhoon, you're able to recover one of your tier elements monsters. A lots of spell and trap cards do have these effects now where if they're set and they're not used for their actual effects, they get a secondary effect when they're destroyed. Tier elements, Salak is a continuous trap card with the effect you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. One, if you control a tier elements monster or vices star frost, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects, then send one monster you control to the graveyard. And two, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can add one tier elements monster from your deck to your hand. The first effect happens to be able to negate one of your opponent's monster's effects by sending a monster you control to the graveyard. Sometimes, hopefully, a effect would trigger by that. It's not that useful. It stops one of their effects, but then again, it can only be used once per turn. So if your opponent has other effects that are more useful, that's always going to outshine this card. Secondary ability is another one of those where it's actually, if it's destroyed, you just get to search for one of your tier elements monsters to bring it to your hand. And the final card is tier elements climb. It's a counter trap card. You can only use one of the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn and only once that turn. One, when a spell or trap card or a monster effect is activated and you control a tier elements monster or a vice of star frost negate the activation and if you do shuffle that card into the deck then send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Two, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect you can target one of your banished tier element monsters add it to your hand. The purpose of this card is it's a lot like some of the archetype supports they all tend to have a counter trap card which works alongside their archetype. This one happens to negate any of the effects be it a spell trap or monster effect and you have to control either a tier elements or a vice star frost so that's a disadvantage whereas some of them don't require you to actually have something on the field this does. You get to shuffle it back into the deck and you also get to send a monster from the hand to the graveyard that will hopefully activate one of those additional effects. A secondary ability if this happens to be sent to the graveyard by a card effect be it mystical space typhoon again just targeting one of your banished tier element monsters gets to recover back to your hand. These cards are decent but I'm not I'm kind of underwhelmed by them I don't think they're that useful I think they're a bit too weak even if you look at the main kind of star players the T elements Kaleido hearts it's fine but it's easily disruptible can only use its effect once and it can be destroyed very quickly alternatively kit Colossus is also particularly weak it really doesn't have much to it and I would recommend they need further fusion monsters to be at least considered viable whatever you guys think I'd love to hear those comments down below and please make sure to watch the next video in the end screen we'll be discussing some more cards from power of the elements